Shaq is not just a basketball icon, he's also a business powerhouse that's worth over $400 million. And as the owner of over 50 major brands, he has created a massive empire. And you might be surprised at some of the companies that he owns. When you think of Shaquille O'Neal, you might picture a legendary basketball player. Or a charismatic TV personality. Leroy Jesus. Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Is that the black <laughs> Jesse? <laughs> but Shaq is a lot more than that. He has learned to become one of the most successful businessmen from the NBA, and his unique investing strategy has made him the owner of companies across many different industries that you probably wouldn't think of. Before we jump into Shaq's top businesses, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. When Shaq first started his NBA career in the early 90s, he knew how to be a great basketball player, but he didn't know how to manage money. When he first got his big million dollar paycheck, he spent it all in one day on things like cars and jewelry, but he forgot something important, taxes. He didn't know his big million had to be taxed, and just like that, his million was all gone, and it was a big wake-up call. In 2008, Shaq made a big move. He bought 155 Five Guys stores, spending over $100 million. This was a significant investment. It was more than 10% of all the Five Guys locations at the time, and it marked his first big investment in the restaurant chain. Fast forward to 2016, he decided to part ways with his stake in the Five Guys chain. Despite leaving the franchise, his investment in the burger chain proved to be highly lucrative, earning him millions in profit. But Shaq didn't stop there. He continued to add to his food businesses by buying 17 Auntie Anne's pretzel stores. He also owns nine Papa John's locations and solidified his role as a brand ambassador and then becoming a member of the board of directors in 2019. Shaq also started his own restaurant chain called Shaq's Big Chicken which now has 18 locations throughout the US. To generate buzz for the launch, he even starred in his own reality TV show called Big Chicken Shack. But Shaq didn't just stick to the food business, he also dived into the world of fitness. Today, he owns more than 40 fitness centers, and these 24-hour gyms provide their members with the opportunity to work out at any time of the day. But Shaquille O'Neal's most significant investment by far is in the Authentic Brands Group, which owns brands like Reebok and Forever 21. Shaq is currently the second largest shareholder of that company, and his shares are worth millions. Jamie Salter, the CEO of the Authentic Brands Group, compared their relationship to a marriage, empathizing O'Neill's relationship and trust in the company. Authentic Brands Group recently established Authentic Studios and used their extensive brand portfolio to produce movies, TV shows, and streaming content. Among the studio's labels is Shaq's very own Jersey Legends production company, which recently produced a four-part HBO docuseries called Shaq, a story on his own life and career. The basketball legend couldn't have done all of this without a mentor. When Shaq met Jeff Bezos, the man behind Amazon, he told Shaq that his simple investment strategy is to invest in things that'll make a big impact in people's lives. And with that advice, the NBA icon started making a lot more money than before. As a tech enthusiast, Shaq had a keen eye on the potential of tech companies at their earlier stages. He had the intuition to place a bet on Google back when the company was relatively new and many were still skeptical about the internet. In 1999, during Google's Series A funding, Shaq invested when the company was valued at $100 million, which a lot of people thought was crazy. It was a huge leap of faith based on his belief that Google would revolutionize the digital landscape. Now, fast forward to 2023, and Google's estimated value stands at $1.5 trillion. That's 1,500 times his original investment. In 2013, once again showing off his instinct for promising startups, he decided to invest in Lyft, a ride-sharing app that was still a new concept to many people. Shaq saw the potential it had to change how people will travel and commute, and once again he was right, as Lyft went public in 2019 with a massive valuation of $22 billion. And when the small tech company Ring presented their smart doorbell on Shark Tank, none of the other sharks were willing to invest. However, Shaq saw the potential and became not only a supporter, but a proud ambassador for the company. Ring experienced a significant growth and ultimately caught up the attention of none other than Jeff Bezos, who ultimately bought the entire company for a cool $1 billion. Despite being involved in so many successful business deals and achieving remarkable financial success, Shaq will always regret one business decision, declining a partnership with Starbucks. 
At one point, Shaq turned down the opportunity with Starbucks solely because he mistakenly believed that black individuals, including himself, wouldn't be fans of coffee. But another Lakers legend, Magic Johnson, didn't miss the chance. He joined forces with the former Starbucks CEO, Howard Schultz, to invest in launching over 100 locations in underserved areas across the US. And this move solidified Johnson's reputation as a successful entrepreneur, and it made him a great return on his investment, where he sold his stake back to Starbucks for over $100 million. And every time Shaq passes by a Starbucks, he said it reminds him of the opportunity that could have made him a lot more money. But that didn't stop him from investing in other amazing opportunities. Outside of the restaurant business, fashion brands, and tech companies, Shaq invested $135 million to own the royalties from iconic figures like Elvis Presley, Marilyn Monroe, Muhammad Ali, and even David Beckham. Who owns Marilyn Monroe? Marilyn Monroe. Playboy? Who owns Elvis Presley? Who owns Forever 21? Who owns JCPenney? Me. This investment earns him royalties anytime a movie or any production made references to these people. And they're mentioned a lot, so Shaq is getting millions every year without having to do anything. Besides all of his investments, Shaq still spends most of his time as a much-loved personality on TV. As an analyst on TNT's Inside the NBA, Shaq's humor and his deep understanding of the game continues to keep viewers hooked, earning him a cool 60 million every year. Not only does Shaq's very funny personality get people to laugh, he also has a huge heart and he helps people by giving away his money. Every time he goes out to buy something at a store, he likes to pay it forward to other people to help make someone's day. There are a lot of videos on social media showing him surprising people at a store and buying them things like new shoes and even new washers and dryers. But this gentle giant's generosity does not stop there. Shaq is a big believer in education. And when he decided to pursue a master's degree from the University of Phoenix, he wanted to enroll in an in-person class instead of online class. He wanted to have his own classroom, but the university would only set one up if there was at least 15 students in the class. So, not wanting to give up on his goal, Shaq generously covered all the expenses of 15 of his friends to join him and earn a master's degree. Shaquille O'Neal's journey from an NBA superstar to a successful entrepreneur is nothing short of inspirational. From slam dunks to smart investments, Shaq has proven he's more than just a basketball legend, he's also a force to be reckoned with in the business world. If you found Shaq's story interesting, then you don't want to miss out on more videos like this on our channel. Hit the like and subscribe button to let us know what we should cover on our next video.